What up guys, uh, I'm bringing you my uh, Gladiator Beast deck for the format. Uh, this is like actually like my first time playing GBs. I decided to make them because I wanted to play something other than like Insectors or, or, or Chamberlain because those are my two main decks. So I decided to try something new and uh, this is what I came up with. I play uh, three Test Tigers because I like the Test Tigers much better because they're, they're faster it speeds up your deck and it gives you more power plays so yeah three test tigers although you can dead draw them once you get that one gb you have a uh, place for days so yeah three test tigers i play a uh, double aquari just because aquari is really good i'm not copying the ycs build that top it's like a gb hero lives so, yeah, uh, two Laquari because they're pretty standard. Same thing with the Darius, two Darius. I mean, people say run one because you should never have GBs in the grave, but it all it, it, it will end up happening. You will end up getting GBs in the grave. So, yeah, that's something to really keep in mind, that it will happen. Uh, double E quest. He lets me recycle anything that hits the grave with Gladiator Beast in its name. Um, I like recycling like that, like Laquari or War Chariot, just because um, it's a good card. <laughs> I run. Uh, that's it for my like multiples of Gladiator Beast. Well, I consider Test Tiger GB. Yeah, those are my only multiples. Uh, for the one ofs, I'm playing uh. Hoplimus, Wall Mermillo, he pops monsters, and he's at level 3. Bestiari, uh, yeah, he goes into Gizzards, there's really, he's the main basis, and uh, Radiari for Banishing, and he's a level 3, which is really important with the Test Tigers, because if you're ever stuck, and you have one of, like him in a Test Tiger, and it's, I mean, there's situations where you rather exceed than tag, even though tagging's pretty good. So yeah, that's it for my GB lineup. And for my Hero Lives engine, I'm playing uh, Double Prisma and uh, Stratos. Just because uh, adding the Stratos lets you go first turn uh, Shockmaster a lot easier. Like if you have a uh, Hero Lives and um, Test Tiger, that's first turn Shockmaster. Or any turn Shockmaster. And Stratos really sets up better plays because, especially on him with Hero Lives, you get to search this guy, so you can normal summon, and that's already rank 4, so there's a lot of good reasons to run straddles. And, like, if you're actually ever in the situation where this guy gets special summon and you have straddles in your hand, you can summon it, or, like, reborn it, or get it from the grave and summon it and pop back row. So, like, there's a lot of reasons to run him. And, uh, that's it for my monsters. I think it's 16. It's a 42 card deck, so, yeah. For my spells, I th I only run eight. I run a uh, two lance. I kind of want to bring that to three though, because it's like really good. Probably gonna take out a trap. Uh, two hero lives because that's what the deck is based off of. Paying half of life points may be really costly, but in all honesty, if you you really think out your plays, like it won't hurt you that badly. Like you, this should be to set you up for winning. Like just to control the game. That's what that is. Like set you up and it bring makes comebacks. Uh, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon. That's it for the spell lineup. I mean, it's pretty standard. Oh, actually, it's seven. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Like, nothing special. And then for the traps, I'm running the uh, Solemn Brigade. The two warnings, one Solemn Judgment. This may be bad with the Hero Lives engine, but honestly, uh, if you get these off before you get Judgment and Hero Lives, like, you're, you're, you should win. Just because it, paying half is nothing toward after you've used those and uh, Hero Lives. And it makes the cost of Hero Lives less. But yeah, the, these, um, you gotta use them wisely. I mean, uh, warnings do end up dead, but like, they, they, they can be used as bluffs too, so yeah. I run uh, two War Chariots just because I think uh, three is too many, one's not enough. As most people say, but um, never want to dead draw it. Never want to not draw it. And I'd prefer having one, especially since it's recyclable. Um, two D prism, problem monsters. 
two bottomless, two tarantula, two call of the haunt, two call of the haunted. Gives you back more plays with, especially with Test Tiger too. Let you uh, bring it back and uh, go off even harder. Double Wabaku protects your monsters. These should be save zones, but honestly, I I'm fine with these. I mean, I, I'm gonna get save zones, but I mean, I'm pretty fine with those. And then that's it for the multiples. Uh, for the one I was on row, Starlight Row, compulsory evacuation device. Phoenix Chain and the Mirror Force. I sh maybe should run two. Maybe I should take one of these out for Lance. I'm not really sure. I'm keeping the road just because it comes in handy. And uh, that's a 42 card deck. Uh, now for the extra deck, I run uh, my rank threes, which are Levier, Acid Golem, and uh, Zen Main. I don't really want to exceed into three that much, but if the situation arrives where I need to, I will make these guys. And these are the best rank threes that I can really make. Acid Golems just for those decks that play uh, Skill Drain. And for my rank 4s, I play Pavel Imperative, uh, Shockmaster, Gaga Ga Cowboy, Double Maze Stroke. I, I should switch one of those for a best dweller, honestly. Um, Pearl, and uh, Utopia. Yeah, that's pretty basic. And then for my Synchros, Stardust, just Starlight Road. For my fusion, I play one Heraclinos because I mean there are matches where you want to bring him out. Like he's pretty good against Dark Rose. I mean he's big and he negates their spells, which discards. So yeah, yes, yeah, Daria. I really want to bring him up to two, just because there's a lot of situations where Darius makes plays that make me wish I had him. And uh, Double Gizarus is really good with Call of the Haunted. It's just a really good card in general. It pops two cards. And then it brings out two GBs, which is really, really good. And yeah, that's it with the extra deck. I, it should be 15. If it's more, I don't, I don't know. It's an accident. But yeah, should be 15. Uh, for my side deck, it's not really complete. But yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty ca crappy side deck. But it's, a, it's not even finished. It's three monsters. Two snowmen and a kinetic. Because heroes are a really bad matchup. Which is another reason why I play... Triple MST, which I don't think I'm removing from the side. I also run Smashing Ground, which I should be to Soul Taker, which I don't know where my Soul Takers went. Uh, I side deck the Heavy Storm also, just in case. Uh, the third Chariot, you don't know what decks use a lot of effects. Wabaku and Trapstone, which Trapstone should be in like two or three maybe. But yeah, I haven't. I just made the deck and I'm new to Gladiator B, so I'm still working a little. Oh, kicks out. Let me know what you guys think about the deck. You know, it's my first time making GB, so yeah.